going into the season, I wouldn't have thought that I'd be uh, where I am now, coming the end of the season. So uh, yeah, it's gone really well. I've got my first British, my first British race win, and I got uh, won the MX Nationals, had overalls at the MX Nationals, I'd done my first GP. It's, a, it's yeah, it's been quite a, a memorable season, really. I decided to go full time at Christmas time, so I think that that's helped massively. Uh, I kind of you can focus 100% onto the racing rather than I was going works like half past seven till five and the dad that doing groundwork. So then I was missing out on training and riding and stuff like that. So then I I decided I give it a proper go, see where I get, and yeah, see, it seems to be paying off. I was going to work, working all day, getting a bit tired, and then. Even Dad would say it through the like getting kind of through the season. When it got to the weekends, I was a bit, almost a bit tired. And well, then obviously, if you're tired, it, you're not putting 100% into your riding. I've been with Dave for uh, well since I was on a 150. So it's been I think I was 12 then. It's been a been a while. So yeah, it's, I mean it's it's always good to have a nice bit of backing you, you know that's like secure you don't really have to worry about anything like the bikes or anything like that you can then 100% focus on racing as well now having a teammate like Jake is a, a big help uh, I, was, I can kind of just keep trying to chase him as much as I can I mean I'm not going to hang, well, it'd be nice to hang on to him, but yeah, that's, you kind of just got to keep working and just keep trying to just tag on that little bit of pace each time and then eventually it does end up coming. But yeah, like pre-season we went down to Spain and stuff, so I managed to get out of him quite a bit then and we went out testing at his track a few times, it's just things like that, it, it does help. Way better than the, uh, the 70. Um, when I first jumped on it, straight away it was, I just knew that it was going to be an amazing bike. Um, and then with the work that Ryan does to it as well, I think this year we've had a really strong competitive bike. I've got one round left, I'm second in the British, so hopefully, I mean the gap's 14 points, so I mean anything can happen. I mean it's, it's, a, it's quite a big gap, but like I said, it's motocross, it's, anything can happen, so I'm just going to go there, do 100% of what I can do and then if I, I'll, as long as I do 100% I'll be happy. Next year I'm going to be staying where I am again, uh, we're going to be doing uh, the British Championship, MX Nationals and uh, the European EMX 250s. I, just, I kind of just think that you need to keep pushing yourself rather than just kind of, otherwise you can get stuck in a rut.